In terms of the 100 days, I believe they have narrated everything that Mr. Bio has done. In terms of education, you know, he sleep, wake up and breathe education every day and he wants to see that change ASAP. September this year, we will officially start the free education for all in Sierra Leone. The last 100 days, it's only in his government, under this leadership, that everybody gets paid on time and they don't borrow money from anybody. Inshallah. It's the revenue of the country that is generated by NRA that they use to pay everybody on time. So his government owes nobody. It's the last hundred days that Mother Bio has made because no school child or university student will have to pay for forms for them to be able to enter to university. He has made sure he's taking care of that. The last hundred days, again, he has increased the salary for everybody that is a staff, public servants. He has I mean, increased their salary in the last hundred days. It's the last hundred days Mother Bio has told all his ministers, you are not allowed, you are not allowed to travel with a delegation of more than five unless it is approved by the president. It is the last hundred days that he said every minister would have to make sure they tell the presidency two weeks in advance before they leave the country. It is under the leadership of retired Brigadier Julius Madabio. He had made sure every ministry in that country, every government worker would have to be on their desk eight o'clock in the morning. And it's happening now. No one, no one stays home. If you pass Lomli by 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, it's like a ghost town. Anybody who know Lumley, there's no traffic, no traffic, because people start going to work from six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so it is under his leadership, it is under his leadership he is able to achieve all of those things within 100 days. I don't want to go into the statistics of how much money they have raised, how much the money, um, revenue they have put in place. I don't want to go into those statistics because me, I'm not a mathematician. That's true. But I can assure you one thing, and that is, before next election, Sierra Leone will not be the same. And the Sierra Leone, the Sierra Leone we will have, is not the Sierra Leone that SLPP will have to go and bribe people to vote for them. The work SLPP will do now will speak for them in 2023. That I am sure. And me, I've said it. I, the last election, I was on trucks. I did all the crazy things. And one of the reasons why I decided to do those things, people said, oh, this woman lack power. No, it's not power. It's called independence. It's knowing that as a woman, you can also stand and speak for yourself and speak for other women. It's knowing that when your husband have an aspiration as a woman, it is your duty to support him and support him with, his, with your life. Because that is what you sign for. It's not about, oh, I want to have power. You know what? How many women actually, this is not only for Sierra Leone, it's the whole of West Africa. You don't get to see the first lady until inauguration day. And I wanted to change that. I don't want people to know me inauguration day. I wanted people to know me before inauguration day. And believe you me, I did that in style. And it was fantastic. Because I believe I did the most crazy things. I did all the impossible things that no one believe a woman can do. The story I make up, my God, you don't even want to know. But you know I'm an actress, right? So all I need to do is I write a script. And I make sure whoever I'm going after that day fits right into what I wrote. And then I'll go out.
and I'll make up a story and I'll give it to you. Now it's your choice to go and defend yourself. So I was busy making sure APC were busy defending themselves while we were campaigning. I kept them in their old stronghold. They forget there is a place called Kono, there is a place called Kenima, Bo, Bot, Kailao. They forget about all those places because all I was doing to APC is crisscrossing them between Kono, Kodloko, Freetown. My people, now that is stronghold than they. Now APC. So I keep them at their house. I make them busy in their house. They forget say we self get hosted. No, no. By the time they realize we don't beat them. That is politics. But politics now is done. Finish. Yes. Now APC, SMPP, NGC, C4C, we are all one family. Yes. We are all together. It's true. We are all one family and I believe the one thing Every other political party has in common was change. Everybody wanted change except APC. Mm. So we have so much in common, and we even when we had to go for the runoff, we knew this runoff is ours because you cannot preach change and then when change is just about to get here and then you decide to change the game in the middle of the game and say no, we don't want change. And you have seven days to do that. Unfortunately, it just didn't work. Now, the APC that didn't want change, I believe some have accepted that SFPP is in power. Some still don't. I know. But the ones that don't believe that SFPP in power is in power, please believe it all. <laughs> because then <laughs> you just have to accept the fact that it's SFPP. And uh, two days before I left, the surprising thing that happened in Freetown is the fact that, you know the 43 mm -hmm. front state house? You know, when I don't want to see fire catch 43, no. only in Sierra Leone, right? No, no. You don't think say, that they tell me say, the new millennium is working for us? This is the new direction. Nobody no put fire, nobody no do nothing. We just sit down no more, they say fire on Kitch Got a tree. Now three days so fire the Kitch Got a tree. Mm. And may I be no no more say they say I'm cutting tree, now they the power be there for APC. So APC, if the fire don't catch you now, this one. <laughs> and we do say don't go. This power here, don't let for that feel. So please, let's just come together and be one family and let's go promote our country and help our country grow. Thank, Thank you. you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you.